I welcome you all in the Department of Electrical Engineering once again in Electrical Machines Lab. So, so today we are going to design a DC shunt generator on this dissectable machine system. As previously, we have designed one interesting machine that's three, pole, three phase four pole induction motor. We have already designed. You can watch that. That's uploaded one week ago. And today we are going to design one more interesting machine. That's this DC shunt generator with lap wound armature and the various components which we will be using while designing this machine. I will discuss first of all them. So you can see we have the shaft. On the shaft, we will be using uh, the shaft to design the armature, lap wound armature of the given DC shunt generator and the various components using in designing the armature will be first of all the commutator segments. And you can see these are the commutator segments on which these screws are attached. So here are one, two, three, four commutator segments, right? And to the left of this, we are having these continuous strip copper strips. These are the slip rings and these are the commutator segments. Since we are going to design a DC generator, we'll be using commutator segments while designing this armature. After that, the coils which will be we will be using in designing this you know, lap wound armature will be these two four coils they are marked as two and two that's it's marked as coil number two right and it has its own terminals inside we have the another small two coils marked as coil number one and coil number one so we'll be using four coils to design this lap wound armature inside this we have a rotor hub and through rotor hub what we are going to do now i will insert this shaft you can see there's a hole on this shaft and that hole will be fixed at this rotor hub to fix the rotor poles so I'm inserting this and I, have, I should so these holes should match at a particular place after that we will there we have these four rotor poles we'll fix them and adjust this particular screw and using an Allen key so we have fixed one of its rotor pole. Similarly, we will fix the another rotor pole in the similar way, adjusting the screw and fixing it with this Allen key. So we have adjusted the four coils on this shaft. That's our almost our armature winding is done. Now we have to make the connections. As I have already mentioned that we are going to design a lap wound armature for that what we will do. What we will do, suppose if this is the starting terminal of one, one coil, the starting terminal of one coil will go to the end terminal of another coil. Suppose this is the this is the coil number one, this has its start terminal and this has its end terminal. So what we will do, we will connect the start terminal of coil number two with the end terminal of coil number one and the same connections are connected to one of its commutator segments as we have thermals connected to these terminals and we will fix that by this screwdriver. Now similarly, the end terminal of this inner coil 1 will be connected to the start terminal of this outer coil and the same will go to the committed, another commutator segment and here I will be fixing and tightening these thermals with the screwdriver. Similarly, the start terminal of this will go to the black terminal, this end terminal of this inner coil, and the same will be connected at another commutator segment, and I will be fixing them the screwdriver. We'll be left with the two terminals, they will be also connected to the another commutator segment. So finally we have designed the lap wound armature for the DC shunt generator. These are the windings, these are the rotor poles and these are the commutator segments. Now we are going to design the stator of this DC shunt generator. For that the components which we will require, we require the two coils they are marked as L9 and these two pole shows. We will be using these two pole shows and these two coils to design the field of this DC shunt generator and that we will fix the coil like in this position and set this pole shoe here and adjust 
by this ln key this one false show along with this coil number nine similarly we are going to fix another coil and another pole show and I will adjust it in this position so finally we have fixed these two pole shows and these two coils which will make the stator of this uh, decision generator two pole now we are going to fix this lap of the armature inside this field system okay we will adjust it so in this way we have fixed this lap from the armature inside this inside this stator so now you can see we have two brush holders here we will be connect, uh, connecting these two brush holders at their own designated positions here it will be connected across this commutator segment and I will be fixing this brush holder one brush holder and its terminal C will go to the point E similarly we are going to fix this another brush holder at its own position now this way we have connected these two brush holders which are making this slippery contact with this these commutator segments so almost the, uh, the design part of generator is almost done as you uh, know the, for the generator we require a mechanical input and that mechanical input is provided by this value you can see we have another this DC variable speed drive actually this is a DC shunt motor and we are going to use this DC, uh, DC shunt motor we are going to couple these two machines by this coupler to give mechanical input uh, to provide the mechanical input we will make the connections so first of all we will connect the start terminal of this with the end terminal of this coil yeah you can see that we have connected these two field windings in series so what we have left is the two terminals the end terminal and the start terminal of these two uh, windings and we will take these connections on their designated place on this point C and on this point D or either I can connect this to the point H similarly I will be using another wire from this terminal to point F you see we have <coughs> made this generator as DC shunt generator and you can see the brush terminals we are uh, connected a voltmeter across the brush positive and negative so now what we will do we will increase the speed using this variable speed drive uh, accordingly the magnitude of F will increase as eg is proportional to the phi right so what we will do we will increase the speed drive and you can see the speed is also monitored here Use at this meter it has a multiplication of 10 it puts current at Position 10 of the currently the RPM is 100 RPM. That is 100 RPM. You can see the induced voltage has reached around 35 volts. And so, 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 the 2 volt scale, the other scale will be concerned. So, as I am increasing this RPM, you can see the induced voltage goes on increasing. Similarly, you can see, you can see as I am reducing the voltage, I am, I am uh, uh, reducing the voltage at the DC to the prime mode accordingly the speed will fall and you can see the induced voltage is also falling so this was all about how we can design lap mount decision generated and all necessary required thank you